Here's a quick look at the aperture blades on the Expo One. This is actually just the 18 mm lens that's on it, an F2 lens. As you can see with the motor blades, uh, whether it's an F16 or even up to F11 and higher, you can see at every aperture setting, uh, because it's motor blades, you actually get a very nice circular uh, aperture on the on the lens itself, not like some of the some of the uh, stamp blades that you would get, and that's the biggest benefit of having sort of a molded blades or aperture blades on the lens. In addition to that as well, the molded blades, looking at a side angle, as you can see, uh, prevents uh, light unintentionally unintentionally coming in from a different angle to be bounced internally on the, on the camera. So again, it reduces any flaying that can happen. Here's a quick look at the aperture blades on the 80 mm lens. So that was F16. That's approximately F8 right here. You can see it's very circular in, in our aperture range. Here's that F2, of course. Um, very circular, just because of the motor blades versus uh, uh, versus uh, stamp blades design. So as you can see, very nice. Here's a look at the uh, aperture blades on the 35mm uh, f1.4 lens. As you can see, that's actually F16. And as, I, and as I make the aperture opening larger, as you can see, it is very circular thanks to the, uh, thanks to the uh, design of the uh, molded uh, aperture blades versus stamp blade design. You can see it even at uh, f1.4 now, it is extremely circular, which is a great f design functionality. And the, the benefits of a, a, a molded blade versus a stamp blade, of course, is that also in, inten in, in intentional light going through on the sides, don't accidentally get bumped in the edges of it, of the aperture blades, and go into the camera. It's going to now be bounced back, which prevents less glare.